Coming up next, tips to keep your furnace in top shape this winter on the At Home channel at buildapedia.com. The saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, was never truer than when talking about your furnace. Hi, I'm Jeff Wilson, and today we're going to give you some tips and tricks to keep your furnace operating at its highest efficiency. Now, whether you have an oil, gas, or electric furnace, the tips are all pretty much the same. Let's have a look at the furnace that we have here today. This is a natural gas furnace. Um, one of the most important things about a natural gas or, or any really any fuel burning furnace like an oil furnace is to make sure that the flue gases can escape. Flue gases are what's left over after the fuel burns. So carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, some water vapor and some other things. You want to make sure that that gas can move up the flue into the outside without escaping into the house. So you want to visually inspect the flue pipe and look for corroded parts, holes, anything like that. If you see a whole corroded section, you'll want to replace that, but if you just see some small holes, you can tape those up with some foil tape. In this case, our flue looks like it's in good shape. Now, if you do ever have a leakage of flue gases into the home, it can be very dangerous because carbon monoxide in particular is odorless, colorless, and it can kill you. So I like to keep carbon monoxide alarms in all the areas where my family sleeps, but also I keep a carbon monoxide alarm in the basement where my furnace is. That way, if there's ever a leak of carbon monoxide, I'll know. Now, one maintenance item that any homeowner can do is changing the filter on their system, and you have lots of choices. Once you figure out exactly what size filter you need, um, you can choose a, a relatively inexpensive filter like this. This will last about 30 days, um, and they come in packages of several usually. Um, or you can choose a more expensive replaceable filter like these. Um, these filters uh, have varying levels of filtration um, to take out different contaminants in the air. Those last about 90 days. Um, and then you can also choose uh, a filter like this one, which is cleanable. You can take this out about every 90 days and wash it out uh, and then put it back into your furnace. Um, but changing the filter pretty much works the same way no matter what kind of filter you use. First, you want to open up the access panel. And since we're going to open up the access panel, we made sure that we shut our furnace completely off. So we're going to take this off here. You can see the blower fan and motor in there, and here's the filter. Our filters are easy to pull out. And then you want to put in the new filter. And when we put the new filter in, you want to follow the arrows. The arrows tell you which way the air is going to flow. And in our case, this is the return. This means this is the cold air coming in from the house moving in this direction. So we'll make the arrows go this way. Now, once the filter's in, if you happen to notice some excess dirt and grime down here, you can take a vacuum and clean that out. It's also a good time a year to uh, clean out the floor vents in your house to get any dirt out of those. Just close our access panel back up. Make sure we turn our furnace back on. Uh, now, if you do have a combustion furnace like gas or oil, you will want to have a pro come out every few years and analyze the combustion to make sure that your furnace is burning at its highest efficiency. Well, that's it. Just a few furnace maintenance tips and tricks to keep your family safe and warm this winter and keep your heating bills as low as possible. I'm Jeff Wilson. Thanks for joining us and come back often for more home maintenance advice on the At Home channel at buildthepedia.com.